As we continue to honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., we remember how he spread his message of justice all around the world. And one of his earliest and most important trips was to the West African country of Ghana. Jerry Carnes connects the dots. As the leader of the American Civil Rights Movement, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. traveled more than six million miles, delivering 2,500 speeches. His most important trip may have been to Ghana in the early days of the movement. Let's connect the dots. Fresh from leading the successful Montgomery bus boycott, Dr. King traveled to West Africa to take part in Ghana's first Independence Day celebration. For more than 70 years, Ghana was known as the Gold Coast, its people living under British rule. Ghana became the first sub-Saharan African nation to gain its independence, prompting Dr. King to declare that Ghana's freedom should serve as an example for oppressed people worldwide. Inspired by the people behind the movement to gain independence, Dr. King vowed that he would apply the same effort toward freeing Americans from racism. Upon his return to the United States, Dr. King delivered a sermon where he said that, quote, the road to freedom is difficult. Ghana tells us that the forces of the universe are on the side of justice. 